Welcome Bulls Nation for another video. So today we're going to talk about Markeith Morris. Should the Bulls take a look at him? We'll discuss that right after this. All right, Bulls Nation. So we'll talk about Markeith Morris here. And we all know it's not a secret. We need a power forward. And I know maybe Patrick Williams is is better. You know, maybe he can play this year. But with that being said, he still needs a backup. And besides Patrick Williams, and I don't even know if I can consider him like a power, power forward. You know, it's, he's, uh, he's more of a small forward that's going to be inserted in that role. But... I think this guy could feel, fit, fit the bill. I mean, he, he's not going to be too expensive. We know the Bulls does not want to go to luxury tax. He's a minimum salary guy that they could swing this, you know, to get him. And you might be thinking, isn't the Bulls, um, you know, the roster is filled? Well, if they can maneuver some trades, uh, particularly Kobe White, and I'm not talking about trading Kobe White. For, he's a free agent. But, you know, maybe not getting another salary or maybe just trading Kobe and attaching Tony Bradley in that deal, that would create a roster spot for somebody like uh, Markeith. And I know he was mostly injured throughout last year. And I get that. But at, at this point, we can't be really picky since um, we don't have any money to spare uh, to, these, uh, to these free agents anymore. Uh, and as far as trades, we don't have much assets. We don't have, um, you know, our only asset really is Kobe White. Not that I want to trade Kobe White, but in, in reality, he's the only asset that the Bulls do have that is willing to part ways at least. You know, I, I love to keep IO and all that stuff. But with somebody like Morris, all you really need is a roster spot. You know, it, as a matter of fact, you can even release Tony Bradley and, and just sign him outright, you know. But... Uh, with that being said, I don't think the Bulls are going to do that. I, they're, again, they're cheap. They don't want to pay anyone that they're not supposed to. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls trade Kobe White for a protected first round just to get rid of Kobe and um, and attach uh, Tony Bradley in that deal to uh, to a team with no, you know, maybe that they have some salary cap space and all that stuff. Um I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls, you know, attach a second round pick, you know, to uh, to dump those salary out. But, you know, I mean, power forward is a position in need for the Bulls. And Morris, when when he plays, when he's on the court, he's pretty productive and he has the toughness that the Bulls would need. I mean, there's other options out there, but they, you know, they might be going to jail. Uh, so that I don't even know if the Bulls are even considering those options. And, w w you know, we can talk about those other options as well. However, here he is. I mean, outside of that freak accident that happened with uh, Jokic last year. Um, I don't know. Is that last year or this year? Outside of that, he's been, you know, he's been pretty productive and, and you know, helps the team a lot. He's a stretch forward, as you can see from this highlights. He can shoot the ball, brings in toughness. He can guard multiple positions as well. He's kind of slow on his feet, but again, he provides a little bit of size up, up front. You know, by no means he is the you know, Kevin Garnett, you know, or the power forwards of the 90s. But luckily, we're not in the 90s, so he doesn't need to be those guys. What he just needs to do is, you know, kind of like what he's doing here, which is spot up, uh, defend, rebound occasionally, uh, and, and that's it. That's it. Be, I mean, he's a minimum guy. That's what you would expect. Uh, other options, Montres Harrell, you know, he's he's out there for now. You know, he might play with an ankle bracelet. Who knows? But I, I like the prospect of Morris. You know, I, I like it a lot. Brings in toughness uh, alongside Drummond. He can score. You know, he's not just a guy who just rebounds and just hacks everyone. Uh, occasionally, at least, occasionally he can score. He can move without the ball, as you can see there. Uh, rebound, you know, place defense. He's a good pick and roll guy, by the way. And 
some somebody that we need. You know, we need some depth in that position. We have way too many guards. And even if Lonzo Ball is going to be injured, and even if he's not going to play uh, in the beginning of the year, we still have Caruso, Io, uh, Dragic, and Kobe. You know, on the backcourt. That's not including Levine in there. So that's still five backcourt guys, and that's that's too crowded. However, on the front court, we only have Patrick Williams, uh, Demar Derozan, and um. Derrick Jones Jr. I mean, I like Derrick Jones Jr. as well, but he got inserted in that position out of necessity. I would love to have somebody like, you know, he is in the mold, again, of in in a lower tier, you know, like the Jay Crowders and the P.J. Tuckers and all that stuff. So I would love to, again, he's a former Miami. I don't think he's signed with Miami or anyone else. Or maybe there's something that I don't know of physically that he's not capable of doing something. But I know he came back after that that uh, push or shove that Jokic gave him. But hey, if we can get him for cheap, why not? Even if he just plays half the time. Still better than Bradley. You know, Bradley could be available all the time, but the Bulls is not going to p- uh, play him anyway. So we... I hope I hope we do something. I do hope I hope we do something at four. If we don't pick him up, it's not the end of the world. This this last roster spot um, could be anyone. I just hope it's a four. You know, we've all been praying to uh, to use Kobe White as a trading chip so we could get somebody uh, for that position. And I don't even know if that's gonna happen. But if we can trade him. To open up a roster spot and maybe get some draft picks uh, in return, I'm all for that. Because as much as I like Kobe and the, the energy and the scoring he brings off the bench, I'm still worried about the four spot in our team. But let me know in the comments how you feel about this guy. I mean, I know a lot of people hate him, you know, but um, I think he can help the Bulls thoroughly in that four spot. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you're a Bulls fan, Subscribe to the channel. I'll try to put as many content as possible, but it's kind of slow right now in the Bulls Nation. So we'll take it as we go. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.